Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Homespun with Red Yarn. Are y'all ready to get homespun? I couldn't hear you. Are y'all ready to get homespun? Well, good. Let's get spinning. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna get homespun. We're gonna spin up our own fun. I got a good feeling. It's a home run. Rocking and a reeling with your dear ones. It doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone is feeling around the same sun. So we're gonna get homespun. Yeah, we're gonna get homespun. Kids, if you wanna stand up and spin while I sing, go for it. We're gonna get homespun. We're gonna spin up our own Rockin' and reeling with your dear ones It doesn't matter where you come from Everyone is wheeling around the same sun So we're gonna get homespun Yeah, we're gonna get homespun Welcome to Homespun with Red Yarn I am so glad you've come this evening Let's get homespun Woohoo! All right, friends, welcome. How's everybody doing out there this evening? Oh, I couldn't hear you. You're going to have to speak up. How's everybody doing this evening? Good. Kiddos, can you show me how you're feeling today? Can you show me on your thumbs? Hold up your thumbs like this. Are you feeling pretty good? Are you feeling really good? Are you feeling kind of so-so? Are you feeling grumpy or tired? Are you feeling kind of up and down, kind of down and up? kind of all over the place. Hey, it's okay to feel all those ways, you know, but I'm hoping no matter how you're feeling, we can have some fun together this evening. Are you ready to have some fun together? Well, good. How much fun do you think we should have? Should we have this much fun? More than that, like this much fun? Even more? You mean like this much fun? Well, okay then, stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you want to have. That much fun? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun. Who knows? How do we have fun when old Red Yarn, that's me by the way, hello, and my animal friends come around? What do we like doing for fun? First, we love singing, right? We sing these old kind of songs called folk songs. Can you say that with me? Folk songs. Folk songs are old, old songs that have been passed down through the generations and they sound the best if all the folks in the community sing them together. So let's practice singing right now. Everybody take a big deep breath and go la 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 la. Oh, it's Thursday evening. We can be louder than that, right? Here we go. La 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 la. Beautiful singing. Who likes dancing? Put two fingers up like this. Oh, good, because we're going to do some dancing, too. Um, so let's warm up our dance moves with a little wiggle. Everybody give me a little wiggle so I know you're ready to dance. Good. Um, raise your hand if you like animals. Who likes animals? Great, because I brought a bunch of critters with me, and they can't wait to see you this evening. And raise both your hands like this, and stick your tongue like this, and go, if you want to get a little silly. Should we get a little silly? I think that's a great idea. I think getting a little silly would do us all good tonight. Before we get going, though, there's something very important that we have to do. What do we always have to do before we start the show? Before we eat our dinner, before and after we go on a walk, before and after we go to the bathroom, what do we always have to do? We got to wash our hands, right? So let's practice washing our hands. Everybody get your hands free. Um, put them out like this. Turn on the water. Shh, get some water on your hands. Let's squirt some soap on your hands. Squirt, squirt, squirt. And let's sing wash your hands. To, oh, turn off the water to conserve. And let's sing wash your hands while we do it. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Now rinse. Rinse, rinse your hands, rinse your hands together. Rinse, rinse, rinse your hands, rinse your hands together. And dry, dry, dry your hands, dry your hands together. Dry, dry, dry your hands. Now clap your hands together. Woohoo! 
we sing that Wash Your Hands song to the tune of an old folk song called Old Joe Clark, which then got turned into another song called Clap Your Hands Together, which we then turned into another song called Wash Your Hands Together. I've heard from a lot of families that they're using that at home. I'm so glad that's been useful. And kiddos, thank you so much for washing your hands and taking care of yourself and your family and your community by preventing the spread of germs. Y'all are awesome. Well, hey, looks like we're going to the deep woods tonight. Y'all want to go to the deep woods and have a big party in the deep woods tonight? Well, good. I thought you might like to meet one of my deep woods critters, would you? Awesome. I'd love to bring one out. Let's start with my friend, Mr. Froggy. Can we call him out in a big, loud voice? Can everybody say, come on out, Mr. Froggy. Come on out, Mr. Froggy. Here I come. Oh, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It is I, Mr. Froggy, the bravest, strongest frog in the deep woods. You're the bravest and strongest frog in the deep woods, really? Yes, really. I am so strong you wouldn't believe it. Wow, how strong are you, Mr. Froggy? I'm so strong I could lift a, a, a bear. You could lift a bear? Seriously? I'm so strong I could jump over the tallest oak tree. What, Mr. Froggy, for real? I'm so strong I can hop faster than a jackrabbit. Wow, Mr. Froggy, you must be strong. I was wondering if we have any strong kids out there. Raise your hand if you consider yourself to be a strong kid. All right, who are the strong kids? Raise your hands. Look at all those strong kids out there, Mr. Froggy. Well, now it's important. I know we're all trying to stay home right now, but I was wondering, what are some ways we can stay strong, we can exercise our bodies, we can use our muscles even while we're staying home? How can we take care of our bodies and exercise our muscles and stay really strong even when we're supposed to stay at home? You know what, Mr. Froggy? Some of my friends gave me ideas. They gave me a lot of good ideas, like Myla and Cade and Daxton are doing dance parties at home. Oh, that's a good way to get exercise. Myla is leading yoga classes for her mom and her siblings. Yoga is a wonderful way to stay strong. What else? What else? Let's see. Um, Colette is climbing in the backyard. She's running and playing baseball. Wow, that's very strong. What else? What else? Let's see. I know is taking lots of walks. Finn is jumping on the trampoline. Mary and Hazel are also taking lots of walks. Well, those are great ways to stay strong. Wow, you must be such strong kids. Does anybody think they're strong enough to beat me, Mr. Froggy, in a contest? Wow, you think you're strong enough to meet, beat Mr. Froggy in a contest? What kind of contest, Mr. Froggy? A jumping contest. Who can jump the highest, you or me? Do you think you can jump higher than a little frog like Mr. Froggy? Let's see. Kids, if you want to be in the contest and if you're able, stand on up and let's get ready to hop, okay? Jump as high as you can on the count of three and we'll see who can jump higher, you or Mr. Froggy, okay? One, two, three, jump. One, two, three three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Up, uh, Mr. Froggy. Yes. Well, so far, it seems like the kids are jumping a lot higher than you are. Oh, I'm just getting warmed up. Let's try again. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Wow, Mr. Froggy, Mr. Froggy, are you okay? Ho! Oh, stuck the landing. Hey, hooray! Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Froggy. Nice jumping, Mr. Froggy. And let's give a big round of applause to all the amazing, strong, jumping kids out there. Woohoo! Y'all are good jumpers. Keep on exercising. Keep on moving your bodies a lot. And uh, how about we sing an old folk song about me now? That sounds like a great plan. Everybody say, bye, Mr. Froggy. Bye. All right. I so love to hear that y'all are staying strong and getting lots of exercise while, he, while you're at home. It is, oh, Elliot's climbing trees. Heather's, yeah, lots of people are climbing trees. That's awesome. I love it. I love all of your ideas. Thanks for sharing those with me. Okay, friends, we're going to sing a song, one of my favorite old folk songs. This song, people have been singing different versions of this song for over 500 years. It started off as kind of a nursery rhyme in the United Kingdom, in like England, that 
part of the world. Then it traveled over the Atlantic Ocean into the Americas and got passed a lot, around a lot in African American and Appalachian American communities in the American South. And we're still singing it today. It's called Frog You in Accordion. After each line I sing, I need you to say, uh-huh. Can you say that? Uh-huh. Even louder? Uh-huh. Here we go. Frog you in accordion and he did right, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Frog you in accordion and he did right, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Frog you in accordion and he did right a dozen roses by his side, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Y'all feel like getting some exercise, let's jump like frogs. He jumped down to Miss Mousie's door, uh-huh, uh-huh, where he had often been before, uh-huh, uh-huh. He took Miss Mousie on his knee and he said, Miss Mousie, will you marry me? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. She said, I'll have to think on that, uh-huh, uh-huh, and talk it over with my auntie rat, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, where will wedding supper be? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Way down yonder in a hollow tree. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what will the wedding supper be? A fried mosquito and a roasted flea. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. On the big day, the wedding guests started to arrive. The first to come were a bunch of little ants. Everybody make your fingers like little ants dancing around like this. Aw, oh, the first to come were a bunch of little ants, uh-huh, uh-huh. And they're fixing around to have a dance, uh-huh, uh-huh. And the next to come was a bumblebee bouncing a fiddle upon her knee, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now some of my friends gave me suggestions for other animals that might have come to the wedding um, right before the show. Let's see. Hudson thought that maybe a rabbit would come. Good idea, Hudson. Next to come was a little rabbit eating carrots because that's his habit. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Laurel, along with Myla, Kate, and Daxton all thought a fox should come. Well, next to come was a big old fox. He did a dance on a hollow box. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I know thought a toad should come. Well, next to come was a little toad. She came hopping up the road. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Mary and Hazel thought that a big bear should come. Next to come was a big old bear wearing a bow up in her hair. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Colette thought a bunny should come. Next to come was a little bunny. I told a joke and it was really funny. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Then trouble arrived. You see, the next to come was a mean tomcat. Everybody meow like a mean cat. Meow! Next to come was a big tomcat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He tried to swallow the frog and the mouse and the rat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, the last to come was a big old snake. He chased the whole party into the lake, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Clap your hands with me, y'all. Well, last verse, same as the first. A little bit louder and a lot bit worse. Froggy went to court and he did right, uh-huh, uh-huh. Froggy went to court and he did right, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, Froggy went to court and he did right. A dozen roads in by your side, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. yourselves a round of applause for good hopping, good singing along. That was so much fun. And thanks to the friends who showed up a little early and checked out my Facebook page. What I've started to do is if I have little interactive elements in some of the songs, I'm posting them maybe 10 or 15 minutes before the show on Facebook and seeking as many replies as I can, jotting those down and then using those in the shows because it's kind of hard for me to keep up with the comments over there during the show. So that's a way i found that y'all can contribute. So if you'd like to uh, pitch in your ideas, show up like 10 or 15 minutes early to the Facebook page, look for my question, and send your kiddos answers. Awesome. Thank y'all. Okay. Well, I've got another critter here. But I've got to warn you, he's kind of big 
and he's kind of scary, and it seems like he's kind of grumpy today. For anybody whose kiddos have been a little bit scared by my big critters, I'm going to give you the hint that this is a critter who might live in a cave and, and hibernate through the winter. All right? So if your kid needs a little extra space when some of the big, scarier critters come out, that's my, that's my hint. It's a big animal who lives in a cave and hibernates through the winter. Okay? Some of y'all might already know what it is by that point. Let's get brave before we bring him out. Everybody put your hands on your hips like this. Stand up straight, take a deep breath. Put on a brave face and repeat after me. Say, I am a brave kid. I am a brave kid. It takes a lot to scare me. It takes a lot to scare me. I sure hope that's true. Cause this critter is pretty big and pretty grumpy today. Let's call him out. Everybody say, come on out whoever you are. Come on. Whoever you are, did you hear him growling? Let's try again. Say, come on out, whoever you are. Come on out, whoever you are. Oh my gosh, he sounds so grumpy. One more time. Come on out, whoever you are. Come on out, whoever you are. I don't want to come out. Oh my goodness, Big Bear, you seem like you're feeling really grumpy today. I am feeling grumpy. I don't want to talk to anyone. Big Bear, Big Bear, it's okay to be in a bad mood. I'm in a very bad mood. But it's not okay to roar at people and to try to scare people. Well, I feel grumpy. I don't want to talk today. Well, that's okay. But if you're feeling grumpy, what should you do? Should you roar or yell at other people around you? Um, I guess not. What should you do? What should you do if you're feeling grumpy? Maybe take a little space to kind of try to calm down and feel better. Oh, I was trying to take space down there, but y'all kept calling me out. So I had to come out and roar at you. Well, you could have just used your words, you know, instead of screaming and roaring at us, you could have just said, I'm feeling grumpy and I really don't want to come out right now. Oh, I guess that would have been a better way to do it. What else can you do when you're feeling grumpy and you don't want to be around other people? What else can you do? Sometimes when I'm feeling grumpy, I realize that I'm actually kind of hungry or thirsty. Maybe I just need a snack. Oh, yeah, totally. Sometimes I just take big, deep breaths. Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh. Well, hey, now that we're talking about it, I'm actually feeling a little better already. Oh, that's good news. Do you think you could be sweet with our friends instead of being so grumpy? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd like to be sweet. That sounds really nice. Well, what can we do to be sweet? What can we do to be sweet? Can we give hugs? Oh, I love hugs. With permission, of course. Can everybody give... Bear, big bear, a big bear air hug. Oh, I'd love a big bear air hug. One, two, three. Mm, air hugs. We can say nice things to each other. Hi, friends. I really like you and I'm happy to see you. We can blow kisses. Oh, thanks for being so sweet. That helps me feel happy and not so grumpy. Thanks for cheering me up, everyone. I gotta get going. I'm sorry that I roared at you, but but thanks for giving me a chance to be sweeter. Uh, I gotta go. I'll see you soon. Bye, friends. Say bye, Big Bear. Bye. Ah, thanks for being so sweet to Big Bear. And thanks for putting up with him, even when he was feeling a little bit grumpy. Do y'all ever get grumpy sometimes? Do you ever get a little grumpy with the people you live with? Yeah, I know right now, when we're all staying home or trying our hardest to stay home, it's easy to get kind of grumpy because we're around our families all the time. And sometimes we get in, on each other's nerves. Sometimes we just need a little bit of space from our families. So it's really natural to kind of feel grumpy sometimes and to take it out on the people around you. But it's important to remember to use your words, to take the space you need, and to try to be sweet. Can y'all do that? Good. Awesome. Well, let's sing a song about not such a sweet bear. Let's sing a song about a big grizzly bear. Would y'all help me with this one? 
Oh, good. This is another old African American folk song that I changed up. It's called Gridley Bear, and I need your help with it. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, first, when I say make some noise, I want you to put your bear claws out like this, and I want you to roar like a bear. Can you try that? Make some noise. Rawr. Ooh, that was good. Make sure to roar at the screen. Roar at me. Don't roar at your little brothers or sisters or anything like that. That's kind of mean. Let's try it again. Make some noise. Rawr. Ooh, really good. All right, y'all. And then I also need your help keeping the beat. We're going to go like this. Stomp. Clap. Grizzly bear. Stomp. Clap. A grizzly bear stomp, clap. A grizzly bear stomp, clap. A grizzly bear stomp, clap. A grizzly bear, a grizzly bear stomp, clap. A grizzly bear, a grizzly bear. Gonna tell you a little story about a grizzly bear. Scary little story about a grizzly bear. Careful when you're going out. Say goodbye, boy, Grizzly Bear. I was frozen in my tracks, yeah. Grizzly bear. I started slowly creeping back, yeah. Grizzly bear. I spun and tore off in a flash, yeah. Grizzly Bear with them a racing and a chasing me. Grizzly Bear, baby, Grizzly. Don't run away from a bear. Climb a tree. Don't do that either. In your pants, you'll be. You might do that. Just let him be. Make some noise with me, y'all. Rawr. 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 some good bear roaring that was some good stomping and clapping thanks so much for your help on that that's the kind of song that I could really use a crowd of people in the room with me for but I trust you were doing your grizzly bears at home weren't you good awesome thanks for helping out well friends we've come to one of my favorite times during the show it's time for some birthday dedications woohoo Oh, I love hearing about all the birthdays out there. Everybody who's having a birthday right now and finding creative ways to celebrate at home with their families. So I'm so glad I can be a small part of some of those celebrations too. If grown-ups, if your kiddo's having a birthday, feel free to uh, send me a note on Facebook Messenger or on email at redyarnproductions at gmail.com to let me know when your kid's birthday is and if you'd like me to shout them out on a Monday morning, a Wednesday morning, or a Thursday afternoon. 
And this afternoon we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven birthdays. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Are you ready? All right, from youngest to oldest, we have William, who's turning one year old. Yay, happy birthday, William. Oh, one year old, that's such a big accomplishment. Way to go, big boy. All right, next up we have Emery, who's turning two. Happy birthday, Emery. Two is another wonderful number. Emmett, I missed Emmett's birthday on uh, yesterday. Yesterday was Emmett's birthday, and his parent tried to do a comment during the show, but I missed it, so I'm making up for it now and saying happy birthday, Emmett. Happy third birthday, three. That's my lucky number. Next we have Eva. Or is it Ava? I'm sorry, I don't know. Eva, I'm gonna say Eva. Eva's turning five. Happy birthday, Eva. Give me a big high five. High five. Awesome. And Inez, another old friend of mine, is turning five. Inez, happy birthday. High five. Then we got some really, really big kids. We've got Tom, who's Delaney and Sylvan's dad. Tom is turning 36. Happy birthday, Tom. And Chad, who is Clay and Sierra's dad, is turning 40, the big four zero. Awesome, Chad. Happy birthday. 40, that's a big accomplishment. I hope you're feeling great today, Chad. Tom, 36 is pretty good too. Awesome, y'all. Let's sing happy birthday to all of the birthday kids and grown-ups today. Here we go. In your biggest, most beautiful voices, so everyone can hear. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear William and Emery and Emmett and Eva and Inez and Tom and Chad. Happy birthday to you. Let's make some noise for the birthday people. Woohoo! Yahoo! Awesome. Happy birthday, everybody. Oh my gosh, what fun. Thanks so much for sending in those birthday dedications. Y'all are awesome. I hope everybody has a great, great birthday. Finding creative ways to celebrate even when we can't have a big party. I know it's kind of disappointing. Some of my friends had to cancel their parties because a lot of friends can't come over right now. But I love hearing about all the other creative ways you're celebrating. Have great birthdays, y'all. And thanks. Keep those birthday dedications coming, everybody. All righty. Let's see another critter. What do you say? Yeah. Let's see my old friend, Bob Rabbit. What do you say? Say, come on out, Bob Rabbit. Come on out, Bob Rabbit. Well, hi, it's me, Bob Rabbit. Oh my gosh, Bob Rabbit, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Hey, everybody, it's me, Bob Rabbit. Bob Rabbit, I hardly recognize you. What do you have on your head? Oh, sorry, it's just my, it's just my rain jacket, red yarn. Bob Rabbit, you seem like you're kind of cranky today. Oh, I am kind of cranky. I wish I wasn't having to wear a rain jacket. I thought it was supposed to be beautiful springtime, but it keeps raining here in Portland, Oregon. Well, first of all, it's Portland, Oregon, known for so much rain. So don't be surprised when it rains in Portland, Oregon, Bob Rabbit. But I thought it was supposed to be springtime. We had so much beautiful sunny weather, and then it started raining again this week. Well, Bob, we need the rain, right? Why do we need the rain? I'd rather it be sunny and beautiful so I can be outside playing all the time. Why do we need rain, y'all? Rain is super important. Rain provides water for our reservoirs and our rivers. It helps the plants grow. It helps all living things survive. Water is essential. Oh, well, uh, I guess I didn't think about it that way. And so when it rains, we're getting water. All of our plants are growing. The trees grow, which give us oxygen. It helps keep our earth clean. The earth needs water so badly. So it's kind of a good thing when it rains. Oh, well, well now that you put it that way, uh, well, I'm happy it's raining. And you know the old saying, they say, April showers bring May flowers. What's that mean? That means when it rains in April, in the spring, in the early spring, then when the sun starts shining more in May or June or whenever, the flowers and all the plants grow even taller. Oh, I love it. April showers bring May flowers. So, so if we get a few more showers in April, that means there will be even more beautiful plants and, and maybe vegetables for me in, in, in May? Yeah, totally, Bob Rabbit. All right, well, keep the rain coming, man. Um, you know, but, but I heard something interesting, Red Yarn. What's that, Bob? Well, I heard an old song that said, it ain't gonna rain no more. 
Oh, that's just an old folk song. You can't believe everything you hear in a folk song, Bob. But but we can sing it anyway. All right, sounds good. Let's sing. Ain't gonna rain. A and even if it does rain, we know it's still good for the planet and the earth, right? All right, friends. See you soon. Enjoy the rainy days. Bye. Bye, Bob Rabbit. All right. There's a lot of ways to have fun, even when it rains, right? We're going to sing this silly old song called Ain't Gonna Rain. Of course, it is going to rain some more. Let's hope it rains some more, especially in Portland. Does it rain much where you live? I know some of our friends live in, in drier, sunnier places, maybe in the desert or maybe 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 down south where it's not, where or in Texas where I grew up. It doesn't rain as much as it rains up here in Portland. But I like when it rains, personally. I do have some important outdoor plans this weekend, so I'd, I'd use a clear day, but whatever. If it, if it rains, so be it. Here we go. Here's how this song goes. Ain't gonna rain, ain't gonna snow, ain't gonna rain no more. Cheer up everybody for, ain't gonna rain no more. Can you try singing that with me really loud? Ain't gonna rain, ain't gonna snow, ain't gonna rain no more. Cheer up everybody for, ain't gonna rain. Really, I need y'all to sing it like you mean it. Maybe it might help if you clap your hands too. One, two, three, four. Ain't gonna rain, ain't gonna snow, ain't gonna rain no more. Cheer up, everybody, for ain't gonna rain no more. Let's dance, y'all. Old cow died for good French. Ain't gonna rain no more. Buzzers had a puppy. enjoy the rain when it comes. Friends, we have come to the other favorite part of the show for me. We've come to the kiddo artwork time. Critter portraits. This uh, Today and this week, yesterday was Earth Day, so a lot of kiddos sent in their Earth Day artwork. And after yesterday's Earth Day episode, which featured so much beautiful nature and Earth-inspired artwork, I got some more Earth Day artwork. So today, once again, we are going to see some Earth Day artwork and Critter Portraits. If you're watching on Instagram, I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to see the slideshow. It's running through Facebook, so um, but you can watch it on Facebook Live right now, or you can check out this episode when I post it on YouTube later on. You can check it out there, too. Um, so here we go, friends. Earth Day artwork and Critter Portraits. We have so many good ones today. First of all, we have my friend Ava, who sent in this picture with two pieces of Earth Day inspired artwork. It looks like Ava did one collage with lots of small pieces of construction paper glued in, in greens and blues, glued on a big circular um, 
page like the earth and another one looks like maybe she did it. Was that marble art or something, Ava, where you like dipped some marbles in paint and rolled them across the paper? I, I'm, I'm so inspired by the way you made those beautiful green and blue lines. They're so beautiful. Thanks for sharing, Ava. Critter slideshow. Ava, next up we have Bo. Bo shared Bo's artwork too. Bo, this is some more Earth Day inspired artwork. It looks like there's a big circle with green lines on it. Bo, so beautiful. Thank you for sharing this, this picture of the Earth. Next up we have Clary mailed me this picture of Miss Mousy. Clary, thank you so much. The colors you use are so creative, these bright colors. I'm really interested in the way you did Miss Mousy's dress and this house too with such bright, beautiful colors. Thank you, Clary. Next up, my friend Clementine, her Earth Day artwork, she made a bug hotel. It looks like a, a frame made out of lumber, then filled with pine cones and sticks, like a place where a bunch of bugs could live. I love that idea. That is so, so inspired, Clementine. I wanna make a bug hotel in my backyard too. Thanks for sharing this with me. My friend Clive also did some Earth Day artwork. Clive did um, decorated an earth on a piece of black paper. Looks like you used some white crayons on black paper to make some other figures too. I think it's so cool when you use a white crayon or chalk on black paper. You can make that cool, those cool uh, designs on the sides. Clive, thank you for sharing that with me. Colette sent me this. It says, I drew Molly Cottontail for you. I say, come on out, Miss Molly, just like Red Yarn. Thanks, Colette. I love your picture of Miss Molly, and it's so fun that you're acting out the shows too at home. Thanks for sending that to me. Emma, all, who's Ava's sister, also did some Earth Day artwork. It looks like she used similar methods. One is collage with little pieces of construction paper, and one is another cool kind of maybe like rolling balls with paint on them or doing splatter paint. I would love to hear more. Emma, maybe you can tell me how you made that cool earth portrait on the um, on our left-hand side. That's so interesting. Thank you. My friend Everett did this earth art. Everett, what a creative design. It reminds me, it looks like you used four big leaves and a pine cone. And to me, it looks like some sort of butterfly or dragonfly but I wonder what you were thinking of when you made this Everett I'd love to hear it thank you for sharing it with that with me and so creative the way you use natural elements for that Isla did this Earth Day artwork too wow Isla did you draw planets and constellations that's what it looks like to me it looks like planet Earth with some other planets nearby and constellations in the sky Isla, you must be thinking about and studying space and the universe and the planets and the moon and the stars. That's so cool. Kai did this beautiful design. It looks like Kai collected some flowers and berries and pine cones and put them in this beautiful design. What colorful, colorful flowers and what a cool shape. Thank you for sharing that with me, Kai. Kellen did this one. Kellen did Earth Day Art too. It says, help the earth to stay healthy. Kellen used hearts and a tree and flowers and he wrote his name. Kellen, the bright colors you chose make this, this picture stand out so brightly. I love it. Thank you. Lucia sent me this one in the mail. It says, it's Miss Molly's birthday and she has birthday butterflies with Shiloh. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna tell Miss Molly and Shiloh that she drew this picture of them. I think they would love to have a birthday party with butterflies invited. Thank you, Lucia. Margot delivered this piece to me. It's also Earth Day inspired. I see the planet Earth surrounded by yummy cupcakes and lollipops and hearts. Margo, thanks for sharing your Earth Day art. It was so fun to get this special delivery from you and I'm so glad to get to show this off. Thanks for sharing. Noah also collected natural items and arranged them in a beautiful design. Noah, I'm so interested in your design too. To me, this kind of looks like a critter or a person or something. I see what looks like arms 
and legs and ears. Maybe you weren't planning on it, but to me, it reminds me of a figure, like a, a, a person or an animal. I would love to hear what you were thinking about when you made this cool design, Noah. Owen drew a portrait of Arnie the whale. Arnie is a character that Owen invented, but Owen thought that maybe my critters would like to meet Arnie the whale on the beach. No, uh, Owen, I asked my critters and they said, yes, please take us to the beach. We'd like to meet Arnie the whale. Thanks for sharing those pictures. And I like the way you use stickers and drawings, Owen. That's so cool. Rosie, um, with some help from her sister Ruby, made this. It's a picture of Red Yarn's barn that she did on a stump. She collected leaves and flower petals and rocks and arranged them into a picture of Red Yarn's barn. Rosie, this is so creative. And Ruby, thanks for helping collect these items so your sister could arrange them on a stump. This is so cool. That's way cooler than my barn. I want to live in this barn. And then my friend Sutton, who lives in Canada, who used to live in Chicago but now lives in Canada, sent me two pictures. One of Mr. Fox smiling and waving and one of Molly Cottontail. It says, I love you, Red Yarn. Oh, Sutton, thank you for sharing these drawings. These characters are have so much personality. I like the way you did their big smiling faces and they're both waving. And you really got Miss Molly's dress just right. Sutton, this is so cool. Thank you for sharing your pictures with me. Veronica, thinking about Earth Day, she made a piece called Reduce Our Use. On one side, it looks like sweet animals, maybe a turtle and a cat. And on the other side, it looks like some trash or some litter. Thank you for thinking about ways that we can reduce our use and protect the earth, Veronica. Can we all give a big round of applause to all of the artists for their Earth Day art and their critter portraits? Families, keep on sending me artwork. I haven't quite thought of my theme for next week. So send me some critter portraits. Send me some nature art. If you're playing outside this weekend and your kiddos do some nature-inspired art, I'd love to see more of that with it being so beautiful this springtime. All right, y'all. We're going to sing one more song, and we're going to say goodbye. It's been so good being here with you today. Thanks for watching. This is a song. It's an old folk song that we're going to dedicate to every soul on the earth every living being on the earth right now. We're gonna hold our fingers out like this. We're gonna close our eyes and do a point in a big circle like we're pointing at every living thing on the earth. And we're gonna sing. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. This song's called Mr. Rabbit. If you know it, I would love for you to sing along, or you can just sit and relax and listen. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why are your ears so long? Yes, oh yes, they were put on wrong. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Next one says, Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why is your coat so gray? Yes, oh yes, it was made that way. Here we go. Mr. Rabbit, <coughs> Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why is your coat so gray? Yes, oh yes, it was made that way. Every little soul is going to shine, shine, shine. Every little soul. It's gonna shine, shine, shine. How about Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, what do you eat? Carrots and cabbage from my head to my feet. Here we go. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, what do you eat? Carrots and cabbage from my head to my feet. Every little soul. It's gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Keep on making them shine. Oh, it's gonna shine. Oh, it's gonna shine, shine, shine. Oh, it's gonna shine, shine, shine. Oh, it's gonna shine.
Thanks for letting it shine so bright with me today, y'all. It's been so much fun seeing you here on Homespun this evening. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for watching, for tuning in, for finding ways to connect, for leaving comments, for sending me messages and emails, for generous donations. It's hard to be a performer right now because we're used to uh, going out into big public places for with big intergenerational crowds and singing songs. And I really, really miss getting to be with you in person, but I feel so happy each time I get to sing to you here. It's different, but it's wonderful, and there's so many cool things that I'm, new experiences I'm having by doing this. So I hope you're finding cool new ways to connect with people and to experience joy and to experience art and to be with your family. So thank you so much for your support. It means so much to me. If you're in a position to donate today, there's a few ways you can do that. I've got a Venmo, at Red Yarn, Cash App, Money Sign Red Yarn, PayPal. There, I've got a new fancy PayPal link. It's in my post, so check that out. You can just click on it and it goes right to the PayPal link to pay me. And Patreon, that's a way you can support me on an ongoing basis, like on a monthly basis. Um, and I'm sending sneak peeks of some of my new projects to my pra Patreon subscribers. So now would be a good time to go check out my Patreon page. I'm working on some really cool stuff, um, and I'm really excited to share it with you. I've got a new album in the works and a bunch of new critters and photography and videos and all sorts of stuff. It's been a little challenging getting it all done and coordinated in this different time, but I'm still working really hard at it behind the scenes, and I'm hoping to start sharing some cool new stuff with y'all soon. So stay posted, y'all. Stay tuned. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you're staying strong. I hope you're staying happy and healthy and enjoying the opportunities to be with your families at home. Big thank you to all of our essential workers who are out there working so hard right now to keep the world moving and to keep us all safe and healthy. We appreciate you so, so, so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Friends, let's say goodbye how we always do. Get your chompers out like this and repeat after me. Say, see you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Well, I really gotta go. Well, I really gotta go. Give me one more pretty smile. Give me one more pretty smile. Cheese. And how about a big high five for all your good singing and dancing today. And a pat on the back for sharing your great ideas with me, for finding ways to connect, and for staying home to keep your community safe. And how about a big hug for being such sweethearts. Mm. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday morning, okay? Thanks so much for tuning in this evening. Bye, everybody.